In this video, I'm going to go through the solutions to the questions on limiting values of sequences. If you want to try the questions first, you can find a link to them in this video's description. So for this first question, we're told that one of the terms has a value of 3 over 2, so we'll just write the nth term equals 3 over 2. If we now cross multiply, we get 2 lots of 2n minus 3 equals 3 lots of n plus 4. If you expand both sides, you get 4n minus 6 equals 3n plus 12. If you now subtract 3m from both sides, you'll get m minus 6 equals 12. And then add 6 to both sides, you'll get n equals 18. And that's the answer to the question. Now we need to find the limit of the sequence as n tends towards infinity. So if we lose this negative 3 and plus 4 here, we'll end up with 2n over n. Cancel the n's and you just get 2. For this question, we want the nth term to be equal to 2 thirds. We cross multiply again, and then expand these brackets. So 3 lots of 7n is 21n, and if you expand the bracket on the right, you get 20n plus 12. Now subtract 20n from both sides, and you'll get n equals 12. Now we need to find the limiting value of the sequence. So if we ignore this plus 6 here, we end up with 7n over 10n. Cancel the n's, and you end up with 7 over 10, which you could write as 0.7. For this question, we want the first term that's greater than 3. So we want the nth term to be greater than 3. If we multiply both sides by 4n, on the left the 4n will disappear, so it's just 14n minus 21. And on the right we have 3 times 4n. If we do 3 times 4n, we get 12n. Now subtract 12n from both sides, you'll get 2n minus 21 is greater than 0. Add 21 to both sides, you'll get 2n is greater than 21. And then if you divide by 2, you get n is greater than 10.5. We know the values of n in the sequence have to be integers, so k would be 11, the 11th term. Now we need to find the limit of the sequence. So if we lose this negative 21 here, we end up with 14n over 4n. If we cancel out the n's, we end up with 14 over 4, which is 3.5. For this sequence, we need to find the first value that's negative. Remember, negative numbers are just less than 0. So we want the nth term to be less than 0. Since n is always a positive number for our sequences, 3n will always be a positive number as well. If this left-hand side is going to be negative then, then this top bit here must be negative. So 50 minus 6n is less than 0. If you add 6n to both sides, you'll get 50 is less than 6n. Now if we switch this around, we get 6n is greater than 50, and then divide both sides by 6, you get n is greater than 50 over 6, which simplifies to 25 over 3, or 8 and 1 third. Again, the value of k can only be an integer value, so it's the next one greater than 8 and 1 third, which is 9. Now we need to find the limiting value, so we lose this 50 here, and we end up with negative 6n over 3n. Cancel the n's, and negative 6 over 3 is negative 2. For this sequence, we're told that one of the terms is equal to 2 over 5, so we'll write the nth term equals 2 over 5. If we cross multiply on the left, we get 5 lots of n squared plus 20, and on the right, 2 lots of 3n squared. If we expand the bracket on the left, we get 5n squared plus 100, and on the right, 2 times 3n squared is 6n squared. If we now subtract 5n squared from both sides, on the left you'll get 100, and on the right you'll get n squared. Now if we square root both sides, we'll get n equals plus or minus 10. Now of course you can't have a negative value of n for a sequence, because n represents the term that we're on. So in this case, n is always positive, so the solution is 10. Now we need to find the limiting value, so if we lose this positive 20 here, we get n squared over 3n squared, cancel the n squareds, and you get 1 third, or 0 0.3 recurring. In this question we're told one of the terms has the value 0 0.9, or 9 tenths, so we could write the nth term equals 9 tenths. Now if we cross multiply, we get 10 lots of 4n squared plus 45, equals 9 lots of 5n squared minus 30. If you expand the brackets on both sides, you'll get 40n squared plus 450 equals 45n squared minus 270. 
Now take 40n squared from both sides. If you take it from the left, you've just got 450. If you take it from the right, you've got 5n squared minus 270. Then add 270 to both sides. If you add it to the left, you get 720. And on the right, the 270s will cancel, so you've just got 5n squared. Now divide both sides by 5, and you'll get 144 equals n squared. And then square root both sides, and you'll get n equals plus or minus 12. Once again, we can't have a negative value for n because it represents the term in the sequence, so the answer to the question is 12. It's the 12th term. Now we need to find the limit of the sequence, so if we lose this 45 and negative 30 here, we get 4n squared over 5n squared, cancel the n squared, and you get 4 over 5, or 0 0.8. In this question, we're asked to show the difference between the first two terms of the sequence is 3. So we'll work out the first two terms. To work out the first term, we just substitute in 1. So 2 lots of 1 squared over 3 lots of 1 squared take away 9. Well, 2 lots of 1 squared is 2. 3 lots of 1 squared take away 9 is negative 6. So we have negative 1 third. And now for the second term, 2 lots of 2 squared over 3 lots of 2 squared take 9. 2 lots of 2 squared is 8. 3 lots of 2 squared take 9 is 3. So we have 8 over 3. Now we need to do the difference between these terms, so we need to subtract them. So 8 over 3, take away negative 1 third, is just the same as 8 add 1 third, so we get 9 thirds. 9 over 3 is 3. For the limiting value, we'll ignore this negative 9 down here, so we have 2n squared over 3n squared, cancel the n squareds and you get 2 thirds, or 0 0.6 recurring. For question 8, we're told the limiting value of the sequence. If we were to find the limiting value, we would lose this 20 and plus 35, so we'd have negative 6n squared over an squared. We'd then cancel down the n squareds. This needs to equal negative 2 thirds, in which case the value of a must be 9, since negative 6 over 9 is the same as negative 2 thirds. We're told a term in the sequence has the value negative 1 half, and we need to work out the value of n. Remember we found a now, a was 9, so we can write the nth term, including the 9 in place of a, equals negative 1 half. If we cross multiply here, we get 2 lots of 20 minus 6n squared equals negative 1 lots of 9n squared plus 35. On the left we get 40 minus 12n squared, on the right negative 9n squared take away 35. Now if we add 12n squared to both sides, add it to the left and you just get 40, Add it to the right and you get 3n squared, take 35. Add 35 to both sides and you'll get 75 equals 3n squared. Divide both sides by 3 and you'll get 25 equals n squared. And finally square root both sides and you'll get n equals plus or minus 5. As we said previously, n can't be a negative number since it represents a term in the sequence. So the answer to this one is 5. It's the fifth term. In this question, we're told that two of the terms have the value 5 over 4. So we'll set our nth term equal to 5 over 4. We can cross multiply to get 4 lots of 4n squared plus 6 equals 5 lots of 3n squared plus 2n. Expanding these brackets gives 16n squared plus 24 equals 15n squared plus 10n. Now if we subtract 15n squared from both sides, we get n squared plus 24 equals 10n. And then if we subtract 10n from both sides, we get n squared minus 10n plus 24 equals 0. We can factorise this one, it's n minus 4, n minus 6 equals 0, which gives you two solutions, n equals 4 and n equals 6. So both the 4th and the 6th term are equal to 5 over 4. Now we need to find the limiting value of this sequence. We'll lose the 6 and the plus 2n. Remember n squared will dominate n when n gets very large. So we end up with 4n squared over 3n squared, cancel the n squareds and you get 4 over 3, or 1.3 recurring. For this question we need to work out the value of the second term, so we'll just substitute n for 2. So we have 3 lots of 2 plus 3, over 2 lots of 2 minus 1, and then we subtract from this, 2 lots of 2 squared plus 2, over 3 lots of 2 squared take away 8. If we look at the left fraction we'll end up with 9 over 3, and the right fraction is take away 10 over 4. 9 over 3 is just 3, and take away 10 over 4 is just take away 2.5, so we end up with 0 
Now we need to work out the limiting value as n tends towards infinity. To do this, we'll look at each fraction separately. If we look at the first fraction, we can ignore the 3 and the negative 1, so we end up with 3n over 2n. The n's will cancel, so you'll get 3 over 2. And for the second fraction, it would be the n and the negative 8 that we would lose, so we end up with 2n squared over 3n squared. The n squareds will cancel, so it's 2 over 3. So we found the limit of the first fraction and the limit of the second fraction. To find the overall limit, we'll need to subtract the two limits because the two fractions were subtracted in the nth term. So it's 3 over 2 take away 2 over 3, which is the same as 9 over 6 take away 4 over 6, which is 5 over 6. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out what I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.